In this video, I'm going to introduce you to an AI content writer known as Peppertype. And today we're going to be using this particular piece of software and the tools within it in order to produce a full blog post. Now I'm inside their free account here and I'm going to be showing you how you can produce a blog post for free. You can sign up for Peppertype and get the free account, follow the method I show you today and you'll have a free blog post written for you, thousands of words using AI technology completely for free. Now we do have a, another video that will show you exactly how you can get additional words on the free account in order to be able to write more content using Peppertype. If you're interested in watching that video, you should be able to see a card that pops up around the video or you can get the link to that video in the description um, at the end of watching this full walkthrough tutorial of how to create a blog. So here we are in the Peppertype dashboard. We've got all of these options here that we can filter the different tools by. We can search for a particular tool if we want to. We can just scroll down and see the list. And you can see all the different tools here that Peppertype has for us. What we're going to do though is we're actually going to use these filters. I'm going to come over to the SEO tab and you can see all of these individual tools here that we can use for blogs. All of these ones for blogs. And we all know that if we're putting a blog on a website, we need a meta description as well. Now you can work through these on your own and try and figure out what they uh, are used for what order to, to use them in order to produce an entire blog or what you can do is you can head down to this section here called notes and this is really really useful so this is your editor that you can use within Peppertype in order to create a longer piece of content you can see that you've got guidance here on how to produce a full blog now i've already expanded this guidance you might see that when you first log in this will be blank and there'll be a little red button that you have to press in order to get all of this description but this is going to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to write a blog with pepper type now before we produce any content with pepper type i want to give you a little tip obviously you've got this guidance but if you accidentally delete any of this guidance you're not going to be able to use it so what you can do is you can come along to this button here download and you can download a pdf file and if you haven't edited this um, editor already then all of these instructions are now stored inside this pdf you can just file that away safely and come back to it another time as soon as i start typing into this or deleting these different headings then we'll lose that information if i do that by accident i could just go over here for reference so what we're going to do is we're just going to work through this list, follow the instructions and see if we can produce a full blog very, very quickly. So first of all, it says blog title. That's where we want to start off with our blog. It says use blog ideas. So that's the name of the tool that we want. You can just see it in the background here to generate a blog title. It says enter a brief description or some keywords about your product or brand. So because I'm inside of the tool, I can actually just go so inside the editor, I can actually just go straight through to blog ideas and it will open up like this. OK, so my blog, if I just move this down slightly, OK, is on the Manise Mountain dog. OK, so that's what m the topic of my article is going to be about. So that's the name of my product or service. And then we need to put a description in here. So I'm just going to pause the video pop in a description and then I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so I'm coming up with some blog ideas. I've now filled in this bottom description part here where I've got the information that I know I want to include in my article. So what I'm going to do now is hit click uh, create content and the AI software inside this content writer is going to start to produce the blog ideas. Okay, so we've got all of these suggestions here. So we could do care and maintenance, we could do facts and information, we can do benefits, uh, what you should know about uh, the hair, what to do with it, help at training them, quite like the sound of that one. We could do dog grooming. If we're not happy with any of those, we can just hit create more outputs. And as you can see, we've got a long list that we can pick from. Now, any we find, we can save them, come back to them later, or we can paste them straight into the note without needing to use copy and paste. So we could do the history of, 
about how to choose a pup from a breeder, quite like that one. Tips for training, caring and socialising. So that sounds quite similar to what I want to do. So I'm going to paste that into notes and now I have got my blog title. Okay, so as you can see when I click on these different parts we can see the different headings. So that's my title done. What I want to do now is we do the meta description. So all you'd need to do is click on to the SEO meta description and you'll be able to produce that. So all we do is take the title of the web page. So we made the title up here. I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to place it into the title box. There are advanced options if you want to use them. I'm not going to go through those today because we're just trying to create a blog. And again, it's creating the content and it's just going to take the title and put it into a meta description. OK, so I'm just going to put the title there, meta, to remind me. And then I quite like the look of this one, so I'm just going to paste that straight in there. So we've got two of them done already. Next, we're going to go on to the introduction. So I'm just going to put the word intro there. For organisation, I can just change these. I can see where they are. And that was, uh, this was my title. So I'll make that the H1. So as you can see, I'm starting to produce an entire article and I can just start deleting these sections knowing that if I need to go back I had that PDF saved. So now we've got the introduction so we're going to use the blog introduction tool so I'm going to click on here and now we need the blog topic. Okay so use blog introduction and enter the blog title. So again I'm going to go back up here where I got my title before, copy that and then I paste that and hit create content. So it seems like a good description, which is good to go that I can start creating. It tells me the maximum number of characters I can use. So I'm going to hit create content and let that work. It does say here you can use content expander to finish the sentence and let it expand one line into a whole paragraph. So we've got a few options there. But now I've got my introduction written and I can pick any of uh, the outputs that have been produced and if I don't like the look of any of them then I can move on to some of the others. So what I'm going to do is uh, just for speed I'll pick this one here and, and there we go that is my introduction done and then as we did before I can just delete the introduction section. Now we move on to the outline so it says use the blog outline to set a direction for this blog. So I'll click onto that tool and it says every point in the outline becomes a subheading. So I'm just going to put in my uh, title again, click on that and it should create a nice outline for me. And you can think of your outline as your separate paragraphs. So it's now taken what I put into the tool and I can see the different options. I can scroll down. These are all the different um, options I've got so I can just take a look at these and pick which one I prefer so let's just go for quite like the look of that one there and again if I'm not happy I just go create more outputs so let's go for this one so I'm just going to go down to the right place we'll delete this section of my outline and then I'm going to paste that into notes now just remember every time I'm doing this I'm using up some of my word count so all of these words here are coming out of my account every time I click the paste to notes. Then it's just the case of going through with the main content. So it says enter one of your subheadings here. So that would be one of the headings from the outline. Uh, or we can use the content expander, which will finish a sentence. Or if that's not enough, you can rewrite existing content using the content writer. So we've got a few options. We're going to go for the blog heading expander as I've created the outline here. So I've got the section heading. So I'm going to take that one there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of information into this box. So I'm just going to pause again, type that in, and then I'll be back with you in a second. So as you can see, I have filled this out, put a bit of information in with the blog. I've got the section heading. So I'm just going to create a little gap here because that's where the information needs to go. Hit create content and it's going to do exactly the same thing as it did before. It's going to create the content and I can scan through. You can see here I use most of the characters and then it will 
I can scan through and decide which of the outlines. And all you're going to do is repeat this process over and over for each outline. I'm not going to do that in this video. So we can scroll down now. Let's say we like the look of this one. So this is a good point here just to remind you that you need to fact check everything that's produced by the AI. AI is not an excuse not to fact check your information and make sure that it is accurate and that the information that you are putting online is accurate as well. All you can do then is exactly the same thing. We'll make a gap. We'll go back, edit the details. What we need to do then is swap out the uh, section heading for the next one, give the tool a little bit of help and then it will create the information. And we're just going to repeat that over and over again. And then finally, when we get down to the conclusion, which we've got here, we're going to uh, use the conclusions tab. So we'll just delete that there. Uh, we're going to write a blog conclusion. So it's given us our conclusion here. I'm going to place that in, hit create content, and it will give us our conclusion. And that will be it. That will be our entire blog written by AI for us in under 10 minutes. So I'm just going to scroll down. Let's say we're looking for this one, paste that in there. Okay. And obviously you would have gone through and added the additional paragraphs, but as you can see, we've got an entire blog here produced for us in minutes. We've got the title, We've got the metadata introduction and we've got the paragraphs written by the AI and the conclusion. And then we've got everything we need in order to be able to take it over onto our website, finish off, put all the SEO in that we would expect to see in an article that we're trying to rank on Google, get images, links, all those kind of things. And then it would be ready to publish. If you're interested in trying out other software, that you can use in order to find out if this is the best tool for you when producing AI blog posts, then there's a playlist that's just popped up on the screen now. And if you click on that playlist, then you'll be able to see some of the other tools that we have reviewed, see how they produce blog posts and see if you want to try PepperType out or one of these other tools in order to help you with your AI content creation. We'll see you in the next video.